I think it's important to vote for a woman uh, because politics is uh, too much about uh, from men's perspective and of course uh, it's important to vote for all the women and their views in, in the world. I got into politics maybe when I was 15. I joined the Swedish People's Party's youth organization and I was active for quite a few years back then and then I've had some breaks in between because I thought I was doing too much everywhere so I needed to have a break. And um, when I was asked to, to stand up for election I felt really honored and uh, I was thinking about it the whole summer because I wasn't really sure because it's a, a huge step to take. But then I thought I have nothing to lose and I'm young and I have a drive and I want to be out there and make, make a change. This was an election debate for young candidates, young politicians on, on development issues, global issues, gender equality, democracy, the Millennium Development Goals. Well, we had two objectives. One was to sensitize the youth, the young candidates on development issues, democracy issues, uh, developing country, what's going on in de different developing countries. And then the second main objective was to inform the general public, the voters, about these development questions and to keep them on the agenda before the elections. And we, we had uh, eight candidates from uh, different from all the parliamentary parties or the youth organizations of all the parliamentary parties. So they were representing parties from the far right to the, to the left. Uh, how to tackle politically? Uh, I would say that, uh, for example, DEMO is a good example of, of uh, work that is, is done uh, where we have a great project uh, involving women. This is a feminist discussion, like panel discussion. Uh, we want to interview feminist candidates of uh, five biggest party. Um, that why we should why femi why uh, Finnish feminists should vote them. Well, I wish to achieve that there would be some differences between candidates. Each candidate is like one person, but in Finland. It's, it still matters in which party you are in because of this um, way we make this election. And I'm expecting to have this like lively discussion, of course, and maybe some, well, we don't have to think about this, all the issues in the same way. Uh, we have announced about this event in many places, in website mainly, and we have also sent invitation to um, like email list to uh, all the members of uh, our publishing, publishing society and all the makers of this magazine Tulva. So there's 
I guess quite many journalists and quite many feminists in the audience. Uh, this, I guess, was a one-of-a-kind opportunity to hear um, some views on this topic. Uh, it was so, like, openly about feminist issues, and it's not like uh, you don't have to be afraid of stepping to men's toes, sort of. So that was that was really that you can actually speak about the important issues as you see them, and you don't have to be careful about hurting someone else's feelings because they have different views. Uh, I haven't still uh, decided who, I'm gonna, who am I going to vote for, but um, I'd really like to vote for women. I just had a campaign event with Minister Astrid Thurs, who is the Minister of European Affairs and Migration. And we organized an event together about um, women's Helsinki, which con uh, concerned a lot about the history of, of women in Helsinki. So a lot of gender issues and how maybe history doesn't always concentrate on the women. Instead, they, it tends to bring, bring up the men. So we wanted to organize this event to show that there's also another other story and other side to hell thinking. Organizing and being supported by a, a minister feels very, very, very good and very nice. I feel very honored that Astrid here has taken me under her wing <laughs> and, and wanting to uh, organize events with me and it, it feels it feels like uh, someone cares about me, mm. who is like that an established politician mm. shows her respect. Well, and and uh, of course, I mean, this this need for for networks, as as we mentioned, is is important. But also, because Janina is a different generation, I think it's very very important that uh, you know about the new ideas that the young people are coming, coming forward with this is a new experience. I can learn about new, new things, new experience uh, through uh, the voice of, of Janina. We know that the guys, they have their own networks. Uh, even if we are very equal society, there are association for only men, which have existed in 125 or 150 years, and still they do not allow us women in there. So we need to have other kinds of networks supporting each other. Exactly, and I think it also works both ways mm -hmm. that we, we cooperate with, with each other. It, it helps us both, I mm -hmm. think. Um, well, I thought the theme was interesting and it was nice to do a campaign in the way that you kind of bring up something else than actually just pure politics. It's a nice way for people who are interested in, in literature or culture to come along and listen and not like actually have to be like to go to a straightforward political event. But I came actually to show my support for Janina and Astrid. Uh, I became interested in politics through uh, activist uh, organization work. I've been active in the house squatting movement and in different organizations that work with culture and with young people and stuff. And through this I realized that I can affect the world around me. I can make a change in the city I live in. And I started uh, to be more active in, in the politics circus. And uh, I've been two years now in the city council of, of Helsinki. And there I learned that there are ways to make a difference here. And that's why I'm running for the election as well. Uh, we are here trying to sell stuff that we gather for all our houses and try to get some money for the campaign because you need a lot of money for all the advertisements and stuff and at the same time we have like we give out flyers and 
magazines to the people and then I just try to go here and walk around. This is a good place to talk to people because everybody's in a good mood. They want to talk to you. So you get into good conversations with people. Mostly my campaign is funded. Private people give small donations. That is the main, main way of getting money. But then I've got something for the par from the party and from the party's uh, women, women organization also gave me some money for the campaign. I've faced a surprisingly little challenge because I'm a woman. But I think that has to do with uh, the way I look and the way I act because uh, I'm, a, how do you say in English, a tomboy. Or how do you say, like a boy girl. I'm very, so it's very hard to call me girl because it's not the first thing that comes into your mind. But, but in life in general, I have realized that there are a lot of challenges for women. We, I had an, a company with three other girls a few years ago, a TV production company. And all the other girls who were more feminine, and all of them got harassed, and all of them got a lot of problems because they were women. So I think I'm an exception. Women do have problems because they are women. I have good cooperation with other women from other parties as well. There are in the city council, there are a few uh, girls or women from the Green Party who I'm very close with, and we share the same view of the world. And we try to do as much as we can together because that's so important in politics when you find uh, cooperation which goes over the party borders. That is that is the key because then you get a good, good, uh, big support for the cause. Uh, I think this type of campaigning is quite fun uh, because you meet a lot of people and you are among regular people. And uh, on the other hand, uh, I don't think. Uh, we have too many options because I am uh, supporting a candidate who is not very rich or so. So we actually have to collect our own money and we, we, we have to be out on the streets and tell people about this, our candidates. Uh, if you are very rich, maybe you, it's enough for you to buy a page in a magazine or put out posters everywhere. But because we are not that kind of party or candidate, then we have to do this sort of work. But it's quite fun too. Uh, yes, I could vote for a woman. I, I will vote for a woman, and I, um, the candidate I'm supporting is a woman. So it's it's uh, it's natural. Uh, here in Finland, I think we have uh, quite close to uh, equal shares between women and the men in the parliament. But I think it's also important to keep it that way. Now we are here in Winter's home uh, in uh, Center Women's meeting, local meeting. We often meet in at some of our, our home because it's so comfortable uh, to be there. I'm Lena. Uh, a 54-year-old, and I'm a kindergarten teacher and a master of education. These home evenings are a very, very good uh, way to campaign because we came uh, close to these people who live far away from cities. My other methods to campaign uh, is that I have advertising at the local press. I have Facebook site and home sites, and then I have uh, my cards to send to the people. Well, Greens are big supporters of public transport, and that is why, in all the elections, before the elections, we are we have these trams going around the city so that people can get on and get off and meet candidates in the elections in these trams, and then we can discuss about different political issues. For example, 
transport or, or environmental issues or minority issues and equality issues. And it's just a way to have fun, listen to good music and then meet new people. Well, two years ago when I was 20, uh, 25, I was asked to run for the city council. And, and then in those elections I was, I was elected as the youngest member of the city council. And so while working there I've actually discovered that you can do a lot. And that is why I was, when I was asked to run in these elections I said that of, of course I will. When, you, when you're active in the Greens, the challenges that concern gender are actually different when, when working in other parties, especially in the old parties. At the moment we have a situation in the Greens that we have more uh, female, uh, female MPs or members of the parliament, we have more female city councillors, and the chairperson of the party is a woman. Most of the people that are uh, in high places in the party are women. So at the moment we're trying to find ways to actually encourage men <laughs> and find ways to uh, help men campaign in the Greens because at the moment it's easier easier to be elected as a woman from a green list than it is to be a man. Well, I came to this event because I think uh, it's important for the Greens to be shown in the city and um, it's very good publicity for us and um, it's fun to hang with people, you know, from the Green Party. It's, it's, it's very good for the for the elections. At the moment here we are in East Helsinki, Itakeskus, and uh, giving brochures and talking with people and, and just having a good time. I've been uh, going on in, in many, many, many meetings and different panel discussions, uh, seminars. Uh, it has been really wonderful. But then on the other hand, I think it's really important to be also around people, among people, uh, where the people are. So I think the Saturday afternoon, uh, this is a perfect place actually. At this campaign event, we are seven days from the elections, so the politics should be there where the people are. And we are one of the main shopping centers in the eastern part of Helsinki. And uh, we are, of course, handing out leaflets, candies, and so on and so on, and asking people if they want to talk about politics more, of course, encouraging them to vote and to inform themselves about various candidates. And I very strongly believe, I mean, my campaign has been based on the idea that you have to take politics there where people are. So we've been in cafeterias, restaurants, open spaces. And why we have music, for instance, here is precisely because of that. I think you should somehow combine politics with things that people are probably more familiar with, with or are more able to communicate through. just staying here among people and giving these these brochures and also uh, tickets to to have a cup of coffee <laughs> we decided to campaign together because um, we think that um, we are a good <laughs> good couple that um, uh, she has more um, uh, she knows more about um, elderly people's things because uh, she's a nurse and uh, I work as a social uh, worker in church, so I know something about that. And we support each other in this campaign. And uh, sometimes we even uh, give people our both <laughs> these pursuits together so that people can decide which one they want to vote. We campaign together with um, all our uh, female candidates uh, in this party. We have had two events together with all of us, and then we have had some with just two of us. Nyt vi tunnistaa,
Uh, we had a demonstration in which we uh, run 10 kilometers in one hour because we want a minimum wage of uh, 10 euros in hour. I'm Katri Rimmonen. Uh, I'm a candidate for parliament in Left Union Party. I really like this kind of campaigning because um, I rather campaign for things than against things. Because it's sort of um, for left parties, they're always blamed because they always they're always against something. And it's I think it's um, at least for me it feels better to do some things for something than against something. I think this is great and fun, and uh, we can reach people who normally don't uh, follow our issues. Well, this was a small event for women, so the main issue was women's equality in labour market and also in welfare state. If I think when when I was beginning my political career, it was it's always much more difficult for women to get financed the campaign because we don't have so strong trade unions or supporters in the in the entrepreneurs and so so the events are often much smaller and they are they are made different way much more handmade now i have got some money from from trade unions some money from from some entrepreneurs and mainly the work is so that there is many people who are doing different works so i don't have any any big campaign or any any sort of uh, advertisement bureau who makes the material or so, they are my friends. <laughs> still. They were in the beginning and they still are. I am a woman, so my best colleagues are women and we share the same kind of life situation and so partly the political uh, agenda comes from the gender. I think the most important support supporters in my life, in political life, they have been women. Uh, now we are uh, giving to people these kind of flyers, so they can read about us, what are we going to do <laughs> in the parliament. And, uh, now the campaign is, is like closing in a few days, so we are kind of busy now. <laughs> in internet, we do like these blogs where we speak with everybody from the questions from today. <laughs> I, have, I have financed the campaign myself and then there are some people who have given me a little bit of money for support my campaign. <laughs> we have also this... Uh, True Finns uh, women's organizations who, who have given every candidate like 300 euros for support the campaign. It's very, it's very nice. It has been a big help. I got into politics actually big, uh, after I was chosen as a refugee lady of the year in 2009. And Nowadays in Finland we have a situation that we, we feel that there should be new blood, so to speak, in, in, in the parliament because so many people have been there years and years. And I think it doesn't hurt to be young and eager and, and, and I would hopefully humbly try to say that even though I, I am young, I have lots of ex life experience still. And I believe that we're, we're, yes, we are equal, but we are different and we should be happy about those differences and I don't need I don't try to make myself look better just because I'm a woman and I don't uh, I, I to some extent I like positive discrimination but I don't like quotas I don't like anything I want to be selected as me you know whatever I get because I was the most skillful for example in job application process rather than because I was a woman 
So this is my way of promoting uh, gender issues, not to really point it out. Today is election day and we're having our party's election party tonight and it's in half an hour we will know the advance voting results and it's going to be very exciting. I think I've done a good campaign. I've handed out almost 4,000 flyers and uh, I have a good feeling. Uh, at the moment we have the first uh, advance vote results. We have 40% uh, of them. I'm quite satisfied. Uh, I didn't know what to expect because I'm first time as a candidate, uh, as a candidate so I didn't know where I would be placed. But the, at the moment I'm number eight from our party and we have 21 candidates. Mutta juuri tämä Helsingin laskena hitaus tuottaa epävarmuutta hieman tähän ennusteeseenkin, mutta luotamme kyllä siihen, että lähellä, lähellä tuo ennustus. Uh, we are at the Greens Awakening. We are waiting for the election results of the parliamentary election. So we are waiting. Tuuli kausa 2015 ääntä. Emma Kari 1458. Well, at the moment it seems that the true Finns, the populist right, is winning, and it seems that old people are winning and men are winning. So it seems that there's going to be a lot less men, a lot less women, and a lot less young people in the parliament. In my personal result, it's okay. I've been my aim was to be in the top ten in Helsinki Greens, and I've achieved that. So, in the, in my personal campaign, I can be happy, but. Overall, it doesn't seem that it's going to be a very good result. Well, at the moment I know that I got 512 votes in the elections, but the results will be confirmed tomorrow, so it might still change. But I'm very satisfied because that means I was ninth on our list in Helsinki in our party. So for, for as a first time candidate, it was a good result and our party didn't lose any seats in the parliament either. Uh, considering my own campaign, I think I know now what to do better next time and uh, what works. I think it works to be out on the streets and talking to people and uh, maybe a larger campaign budget would be good as well. But maybe next time uh, I have a chance to get more money uh, because maybe people will remember me and I have to stay on top now so that it will i will get more votes in the next next elections but i think facebook has had a huge role in my campaign and i think it has worked well the elections went perfectly for me of course because i got elected <laughs> but otherwise I, it was a historical election i mean uh, the voting percentage went up and uh, the true finns got a really really big win and Nothing is the same anymore in this house, or that it seems that all that it, it's like that. Well, we have one more woman than the last uh, period, but I don't see that as a very big victory because, like, one more, and they say it's like historical. 
but I don't see it like that. But then again, I don't know if the, if the gender is the most important question. I think uh, when we have a lot more young people in, and uh, we have a lot of true, uh, true things, we have a lot more like, uh, how do you say, common people, like uh, 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 single supportive mothers and poor people and working class people. So we get like, we get, we get like the people inside and that's good. And I think that's the biggest change. Well, I'm really happy with my campaign. I'm, I think I'm, I probably had the smallest budget of all the people who got in. I had only like 6,000 euros. And I'm really happy with it because um, we did a lot of, um, how do you say, like volunteer work. We were just like with friends hanging out in the streets and trying to get people and finding all the ways how you can connect with people without paying money. And so, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's good to use all your connections you have for your former life. I mean, all the organizations you work with, all the people, you know, I mean, call your cousin, I mean, call your uh, childhood friend, ask them where they live, can they maybe put out some posters there where they live? And I think it, it comes through that.